Welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So today I'm going to be talking about something a little different than the normal vibe of my channel. I want to talk about people being overly sensitive, like overly sensitive to everything. You can't have an opinion nowadays without people jumping down your throat. You can't talk, you can't you know, post anything or say anything or do anything without there being so many people that lose their mind. Like there shouldn't be so much craziness around people just stating their opinions. And it really is just like really making me fucking angry, you know? It's like, I believe that everyone has an opinion and everybody should be able to voice their opinion, especially in the United States of America. Like that is what our constitution is built upon, is people having the freedom of speech. You should be able to say what you want to say. However, I feel like on social media, there is a certain like degree of, you can't say hatred towards people. You know, you can't go on like racist rants and you can't, you know, belittle people. But at the same time, if you're not just fucking kissing someone's ass, like if you're not like, oh, I love you, you're perfect, you're amazing, like sunshine, 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 then you're looked at as being a bully. And it's really crazy. It's really crazy how, where did being a bully become so easy for people to say? Because for me personally, bullying is very serious. Like I feel like if you're bullying someone, that's a very serious offense. Just stating your opinion, that's not bullying. Just stating a fact, that's not bullying. And I feel like people are becoming more and more and more and more aware of bullying and shaming. And everything is shaming. Oh, that's body shaming. Oh, that's um, sex shaming. That's slut shaming. Everything is shaming. Can't you just say your opinion? Now note, people say, oh, well, an opinion wasn't asked. I was on a reality show. I had people talk shit about me, people I didn't know. Um, call me fat, they got my phone number, they got my address, they posted all my information, they talked shit about my family, they talked shit about everyone. Was that right? No, but I went on a reality TV show. I exposed myself to that. If you go on a TV show, you're exposing yourself for people to talk shit about you. If you go on social media and you post photos of yourself, I'm not just saying photos of yourself half naked. I'm not just saying photos of anything. I'm saying if you post photos of your children, if you post photos of your family, if you post photos of anything on social media, you are opening a Pandora's box of people talking about you. So if someone says something such as, you know, um, okay, like perfect example. There is a girl who I was following who she posted an outfit photo. It was like, you know, outfit of the day. And she had a very, very visible camel toe and you could see her vagina because of the material being so sheer. And I commented on it and I said, hey, you know, just letting you know, uh, you can see your private parts. You might wanna Photoshop this photo and put it back up, take it down for now, or like, I just wanted to let you know, maybe you didn't notice it. And I had so many people come back at me like, you're a bully, you're bullying her, you're fat shaming her, you're slut shaming her. Uh, first of all, girl was not fat. I was not fat shaming her, not slut shaming her. I was literally telling her that you could see her vagina and people were attacking me. It's like nowadays you cannot even be helpful to people without people thinking that you're attacking them. When it's like, if you put yourself out there, stop being so sensitive, like really stop being so sensitive. Like I have people that write hate comments to me all the time. It's like, what the fuck do you care at the end of the day? These people don't know you. And maybe something they're saying has a grain of truth to it. So listen to what they're saying. Take it as criticism. I take everything as criticism. I posted on Instagram, not Instagram, I'm sorry. I posted on Twitter a while ago. I had, I had gotten, I had had really bad experience with a certain company and uh, just their, their telemarketers and stuff like that. And I went on kind of a mini rant on Twitter and I said, oh, and the people can't even speak English, you know, it's, so I guess they can't employ Americans. And I had people come back at me and say, well, how do you know that they weren't Americans? Because they had accents. And I said, wow, 
you're right. That was an ignorant statement that I just said. And I wrote that. I tweeted back and I said, you're right. That was an ignorant statement I said. I shouldn't have said that because I don't know if they're Americans. They could be Americans and have an accent. I don't know. I was wrong. I admitted I was wrong. And that person even came back and said, wow, I can't believe you admitted you were wrong. That takes such a strong person. And I'm like, well, right here, I'm a strong person. You know, it's like I, I put stuff out there. And if somebody wants to throw that back in my face, hey, I'll take it. I put it out there for a reason. You know, I'm not somebody, and something that bothers me is that when people troll, so troll is like, you know, people that they want people to comment and they want to say crazy shit. You know, they want to be like, oh, um, you know, like you're a fat pig or you're a whore or go kill yourself. They want to say stuff like that. So people, they'll get a rise out of people, which clearly I'm not like that, but I have my photo and I have my name attached to everything I post ever. If you think that you have big enough balls to say, go kill yourself, you think you have big enough balls to say, you know, you're fat or this or that, be truthful, show your face, you know? Don't have a private profile because like, if you wanna talk shit about people, they can talk shit about you and that's totally fine. Myself, 110%. If I say anything bad about somebody, they can say something bad to me. It's like social media is great because it connects all of us. But at the same time, it connects all of us. And everyone thinks that every, everyone's opinion, you know, is so amazing. Just because I have an opinion doesn't mean it has to be your opinion. The same way your opinion doesn't have to be my opinion. But you know what? You have to stop being so sensitive. You know, it's like sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. I know that that is such a trivial and small thing that you've heard your whole life, but let's be real. That's what we're talking about right now, okay? It's like, if somebody calls you fat on social media, that's not somebody coming up to you and punching you in the face. There's a reason why it's not illegal to leave a comment under someone's picture, but it is illegal to go up to someone and punch them in the face. You know, it's like, people really need to learn that Yes, you should, you should censor what you write. You don't have to write anything rude. If you think something rude of someone, you don't need to write that completely. I have so many times been like, wow, like, you know, uh, I don't like that outfit or I don't like this or I don't like that. But you don't need to express that opinion all the time. However, when you do express that opinion, if for some reason you feel strongly enough to express that opinion, you shouldn't be attacked or called a bully for expressing your opinion. Unless, of course, you are bullying. Because I'm not saying not everyone's bullying, but I'm just saying that there is a point. There is a point where you are not bullying and there is a point where you are bullying and there is a point where you're just expressing your feelings and there is a point, you know, that it's like people are too sensitive. Very, very difficult subject. But yeah, I wanna thank the subscriber who brought this to my attention. I had somebody write me a message just asking about how do you deal with hate? Um, how do you deal with bad comments? How do you deal with people attacking you? How do you deal with people attacking how you look? How do you deal with all the bullying? And when I read that, I kind of was like, wow, I don't actually think I ever have been bullied via social media. I mean, as many times as I've been called fat, as many times as I've been called ugly or stupid or, you know, people just like picking on things about me. I've never felt bullied because I just feel like it's people giving their opinions, which they totally are, you know, available to do. If I, you know, was somebody who was going to say kill myself or if I was somebody who was really sensitive, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't have been on a TV show. I wouldn't have, you know, picked the career paths that I have picked. I wouldn't be making, you know, this video for you guys. So, it really, I don't know, this is, it's a hard subject too because I know a lot of people are gonna be like hurt by me talking about this. You can't be so sensitive, you know? It's like, don't put yourself out there if you don't want people to come back at you. All right, that's my rant. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you guys later, bye.